Okay, we are here to do a test on my Hobbywing 200 amp ESE version 4.1 loaded with the V-Bar firmware. On my V-Control, we are going to do the quick test looking at bailout feature. So let's just see what we're doing so far. Ignore the flight time because I've been screwing around here, just other things. So for the purpose of the test, right now we are motor off, all right? We're going to go to here because I want to be watching what's happening on with throttle input, governor, speed, and all that stuff. So we are in bank one. We're going to lift off. Motor idle. Motor on. We're spooling up. And we're going to watch what happens. We're going to look at what the restart time looks like. All right. Spooling up. Now it just so happens at 59% right here. That's what my uh, bank one set at. 60%. 12960. I'm going to call that an average. All right, we're up and running. Here we go. We're all happy. We're gonna do bailout. Hold and back out of hold and watch. A very long ramp up. So, what's our problem? Let's look real quick. Let's watch our throttle input. So, we're at fifty-nine percent. We go to hold. It drops down to a 9% number. And then when we come out of hold, oh, wow, the slow ramp up. If you were to auto, this would be trouble, right? So let's fix that. Motor idle, motor off. So we're gonna start back here. Now, how do we fix that? What do we look for? Well, oh my gosh, let's go to the instructions. So when we go to the instructions under auto restart time, it basically says here highlighted, when moving the throttle stick from above 40% to any position between 25 and 40, then back above 40% within a preset time period, the motor will skip over the soft start process and accelerate in a fast manner, yada, yada, yada. So if you remember, we were actually down at 9 or 10% when I went into hold. So let's go check and fix that. So on the V control, let's go in here. We're going to the governor. Now, remember I made the comment, bank one was 60%. So when I'm in bank one, I'm given a direct output of 60%. So we're going to scroll up to AR throttle. So when I go into my hold mode, I'm provided a 10% output. Now, if you remember, the number was, the magic number was 25 to 40. So let's just do that. Let's scroll this up and set this at 25, not 24, 25. All right, so right now, if this works... When we go into hold mode, we're going to output that 25%. So let's watch our ESC. Here we go. Motor idle. Motor idle. Motor on. Motor run. All right. Spooling up. We're getting excited. We're going to have an awesome flight. Fired up. Here we go. Heart rates are pumping. We're about ready to lift off and have some fun. And we're up. So, I'm up flying around, having a good time, just kicking butt, taking names, and I go, oh hell, hold mode, hold mode, bam, back up, let's do that, I'm in hold, output's 24, oh my gosh, let's see, look at that, full speed, so, the key is, when you go to hold, you got to be between 25 and 40%. And even if it stopped, when I come back out, I have a fast, hard restart. There we go. Now, motor off. Motor idle, motor on. Slow restart because it gave us that 0%. So it takes you back to a soft start. So when you're running V control touch or anything, if you go to a position where you provide a throttle input to your ESC lower than 25 you're going to get a soft start all right so maybe you're doing a blade stop auto way up high and you've got those blades stopped and you want to do a slow spool up to get them spinning again you might go all the way to off instead of trying to hit it hard with that uh auto bailout where you're going to spin up one half seconds that way you you know might be a trick to keeping a, a blade from folding on you anyway this is how it works hope this is helpful guys Happy flying. All right, here's where we're at. 
we have taken the ESC. This is the Hobbywing 200 like we talked about in the setup video. I have changed the governor mode, just changed it to a different mode, saved the data in the ESC using the programming box. Then I went back in and shut the ESC down to save it. Then I rebooted the ESC with the program box, changed it to GovStore. Now I am set in GovStore. I've got my bank one at 50%. We are going to literally go to neutral pitch on the blades. We're going to let it spool up, stabilize at 50%, and then we're going to shut down, unplug the ESC, let it write that reference point to the speed controller's data, whatever memory it is, and then we're going to reboot and fly. So step one, we're going to spool up in bank one. Be neutral stick. Motor on. Just let it stabilize. 20 seconds. Here we go. Spooling, spooling. Don't want to lift off, just want to let it spool. There we go. We're going to spool right there for you know, 20 seconds. Do, 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 do. All right, now we're calling that 20 seconds. Motor off. Angle. Motor off. And we're going to shut her down. We're going to reset and fly. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, and we are back. So we have let it basically shut down, reset, save the reference point to the ESC. I have now changed my bank from 50% up to 60. So I'm running bank one at 60, bank two at 70, and bank three at 80. And we're gonna fly. So let's see. Motor on. Here goes the big raw. Ups a daisy. Yeah, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Gotta love this Arizona weather, right? Probably mid 70s. percent. Only because I'm curious. Let's check and see what our head speed is. So we'll establish stable hover so I can take a peek down. Okay, we are running, well, 1200 RPM right there. That's 1200. Probably this is the big raw. So flying low head speed or lower head speed, you need to be a little more forethought on your collective, a little more aggressive in your movements, or at least a little more exaggerated. There you know. Battery 70%. But we get to fly longer. We get to fly a lot longer. All right, 
let's for the fun of it, let's see what bank two feels like. Bank two. This is 70% of my throttle curve. Fix that, right? Battery 40%. All right, let's save some battery for idle up two, right? Or idle up three. All right, first let's check and see what that RPM is, because I'm curious as well. All right, that's 1400. All right, here's three. Bank three. Let's have her see what that RPM is. Uh, that is 1600. And time for the big raw for the big easy lazy auto. Nothing too fancy. Motor idle. And we're done. All right, there we go. That was the big raw running Eel Drift 4530 HT510 Maniacs 12 s 5100 70C packs, Expert KD1 servos. We are the raw 700 with a stretch. That's a custom boom. We have stickers from Mr. Sticker, that sticker guy himself, Jason Blaylock. Anyway, I want to thank everybody and um, Hobby Wing ESC on it. All right, guys, let's have some fun. Keep flying.